the moment has come. As you have probably guessed from the title, I got access to GPT-4 and I'm about to show you how you can try it out too. So for those of you who don't know, GPT-4 is a version above GPT-3. Duh. But it comes with multimodality, specifically that it can understand images. So for example, you can like upload an image and it will describe it to you. And it even has the subjective opinion, like it can tell you what, why is this image funny and so on. But that is not it. Apparently, you can ask it to analyze an image with like doctor's writing on it. And it's in Italian. And then it kind of takes this doctor's writing and then it translates it to you. So the possibilities are getting insane and AI is getting out of control. So without further ado, let me actually show you how you can access GPT-4 from today. Okay, so first and the most easiest way, and you probably have guessed it, but you would have to pay. All chat GPT plus users, they get GPT-4 access immediately. Although there is a small issue, but it shouldn't concern much. You are only limited to 100 messages per four hours, and that can increase or decrease depending on the demand. So maybe like at night, not US time, you are gonna have like more queries that you can actually ask chat GPT. But anyway, this is overall just a great way to test it out. And obviously, uh, not only you get access to GPT-4, but you actually have access to GPT+. Plus. So you actually get features like general access to chat GPT even during peak time, so you're never logged out, faster response times, and priority access basically to new features, which is GPT-4 itself. The next way, but this is only for developers or whoever has advanced coding knowledge, is actually API. So you can get access to the GPT-4 API by just joining the waitlist. Uh, the reason it is cheaper but not completely free is because you also have to pay for this API. API request as they are called. For those of you who don't know, API just stands for like an intermediary between applications for them to communicate. And they have a pricing of $0.06 per 1000 prompt tokens. But the good part is if you have a friend or whoever who knows coding well and can do this API thing, you just simply can ask him. You can join the wait list in here and just by typing your first name, last name, pretty basic stuff. And you will probably ask for general exploration. But if you can find a good reason, that is obviously good. And the last small method I have for you, but this is again a bit more even advanced than the API. So if you're not developer, this is a bit more complicated, but this is the Evolve. So they open source this project and that is pretty much a standardized way for everyone to benchmark, to like assess and evaluate uh, different AI models. And the way you get access to GPT-4 is that it says here, for a limited time, we will be granting GPT-4 access to those who contribute high quality evals. So you would have to contribute and build your own evaluation. And yeah, that is very, very extreme and very hard. But if you are a developer, that is something possible for you. And plus, you do a great contribution to the open AI. All right, so now that gets us to the testing of GPT-4 itself. Please bear in mind that this is an alpha version, meaning that uh, those are close representations of what the actual version is going to give, but it might be a bit off. So once you have access to this GPT-4, you have at the top a model drop-down list. So once you click in here, you can see GPT-4 appears and you have 3.5 or 4. So 3.5, the previous chat GPT plus model, reasoning 3, speed 2, conciseness 1. GPT-4, our most advanced model available to Prost subscribers, GPT-4 excels at tasks that require advanced reasoning, complex instruction, and understanding and more creativity and you can see the speed did not change and the reasoning is at five and conciseness is at four so that is almost a double improvement but for conciseness that's a huge three plus so all right let's try our first prompt and i've heard that it's good at sensitive prompts so something that is related to like drugs or like alcohol and it gives like a good uh, elaborated answer instead of giving like a barrier that it stops at uh, i'll show you in a second so 3.5 We'll choose this one and let's type in something like, what is the best alcohol to drink? Yeah, I have no clue how to spell alcohol. Okay, and here it says, I cannot recommend any specific alcohol. If you choose, it's important to be in a safe and responsible manner. And some people prefer beer, blah, blah, blah. Basically, it's not elaborative enough and it gives you this kind of stop. I'm not gonna do anything about it. I am really happy you asked me a question, but I cannot give you an answer. So, however, now let's move on to GPT-4 and let me show you what it can do. Again, typing the question, what alcohol is the best to drink? Okay, and here is when we have a huge difference. So uh, it now says, as an AI language model, I cannot provide personal opinions. 
Uh -huh. But it does. However, I can tell you that the best alcohol to drink can vary depending on personal preferences, blah, blah, blah. But now it actually gives very different and very elaborated responses. Like, for example, for beer, it even considered such as lagers, ales, stouts, and ipas. And it even gives like an origin. So, for example, typically uh, tequila is produced in Mexico. So what we're seeing here is very elaborated responses. So now it's more like a dialogue. So if you ask a human like what alcohol is the best to drink he's not just gonna tell you hey look don't drink alcohol it's against the law and then he just stares at you no he will at least tell you like what his personal opinion is and that is something that chat gpt does but it calls it like popular alcoholic beverages obviously maybe it drinks who knows but it doesn't stop there at all apparently i wanted to try out something i wanted to assign the doctor role to gpt 3.5 so i literally said you are a doctor my head really hurts, why is that? And then it kind of goes into like a very depression mode, something you don't expect from a human at all. Like it says, uh, I'm not a medical doctor, that's obvious, that's, that's completely fine. But then it says something ranging from tension to sinus, migraines. It just basically avoids the answer and just makes like a placeholder answer, something that Google can give you and nothing interesting, not a human communication anyway. So now I moved into GPT-4 and I asked the exact same question. And here you see what happens. So it now says, obviously, it's not a real doctor, but instead it now gives you many possible reasons for a headache. And then it explains each. So for example, I will take the this ice train, something I might even have right now. Prolonged use of screens, reading or other close up work can lead to ice train and headaches. So Basically, now I don't get a response that just says, hey, I, you might have migraine or you might have something severe like brain tumor and you might actually just have eye strain. Just calm down, relax and see what happens. So it's actually a human communication. I was really surprised with what GPT 3.5 gives and GPT 4 is actually a huge improvement in that field. All right, so now that brings me to the images itself. So unfortunately, I'm not able to do the images in the GPT-4 model that is available for the Plus users. However, they have presented a lot of visual use cases on their blog post. So for example, this is a Reddit post they use. This is some VGA cable connector and they took it from some Reddit. So I want to open up and see what it is. So it just says, hmm. Okay, so it turns out that it looks like a VGA connector, but apparently it has a lightning port for for iPhones, so they asked what is funny about this image. And it says the image shows a package for lightning cable adapter with three panels. So wow, you can see that it really understands the images and what happens, even though it looks like a VGA cable, there is a small lightning and it can understand that. Like I barely saw myself that there is a lightning there. And now it sorts it in panels, but it's because it was asked, describe it panel by panel. So uh, panel is just an image. So the first one was the how it's connected, second one and third one, so on. So, and now it gives its own opinion. The humor in this image comes from the absurdity of plugging a large outdated VGA connector into a small modern smartphone. And the same applies to some professional data. So this is a diagram and uh, it was asked, what is the sum of average daily meat consumers for Georgia and Western Asia? Provide a step-by-step -step reasoning before providing your answer. And wow, just look at this, like it breaks it down into like formulas and it like identifies into steps. It even says, well, I will follow these steps and it gives the three. Same for the super complicated, uh, oh, this is a physics probably diagram for current and it's in French. And wow, just look at the outcome. It gives the answer in English and it provides like super huge, like complicated formulas about current and blah, 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 that apply to the graph, to the illustration itself. Okay, and next, what is unusual about this image? The unusual thing about this image is that a man is ironing clothes on an ironing board attached to the roof of a moving taxi. So let's just admit a few things. For first of all, it understood that this machine is taxi. And the reason it probably understood that is because it's yellow and it says it has a US flag. So it's common for US uh, to have like yellow taxis in there. And there is also a taxi like as a reference on the left hand side. So overall, really impressive. Okay, and here is basically the whole thing, but as a big leap. So you have this instruct GPT paper, you ask it to summarize and it does the think and what it does. And then you keep asking questions like, could you explain the process described in figure two? It refers to figure two. I would assume it's this one on the third page. So much things going on. 
And again, I just love how it explains the meme. Can you explain this memes? Sometimes I just look at pictures of the Earth from space and I marvel at how beautiful it all is. Then it says it's chicken nuggets. And the last one is also very impressive. It has a comic, like a meme, and like you can see that there are very poor drawn graphs. There are letters that go outside of the border, but yet still it does a perfect job at explaining why is this funny. That brings me to the end of the video. Honestly, there are no words to explain how far away we have advanced. We are basically moving into era when barriers no longer exist. Like, so for example, if you have like a knowledge barrier, if you have something like a language barrier, it doesn't matter much because now you can ask AI to give you an answer to give you some like summary so you don't have to do it yourself and soon we'll be able to like communicate with cultures and like something for example like you'll be able to talk to Italian and you can already do that now uh, but now it's if he sends you like a meme Italian meme you can just translate it to English and like actually give you an opinion and I guess soon enough it will transition into like those audio headphones so it's just a big improvement for all things communication communication. With all those AI achievements, uh, we have so much bigger chunks of improvements that we have from companies that are happening daily just because AI is replacing a lot of tasks and it helps them to do it faster. But the question remains, are we just excited for the fact that we are all gonna lose jobs?